my last video I showed off ribbon cables and said I had the most and then in the comments somebody said they had more than me and my box looked puny so anyway I've got a new challenge for you in these boxes I have DVD CD players lots of them so the new challenge is I have more honestly I don't even think I can pick up these boxes they're that heavy Anyway, yeah, these are going to the scrap, too. Again, I win. You might have gotten this reminder on your computer about upgrading to Windows 10. And you can do it now, or you can do it at a certain time. And you can see it says upgrade tonight. Or you can choose your own time. And, you know, it's a no-brainer. You just, uh, let's do it. Upgrade tonight. And it says Saturday, April 3rd, 30th at 11 p.m. And it says to stay connected to the internet and leave the PC on and plugged in during the upgrade. So it's pretty much a no-brainer. So I'm just going to leave this schedule and click close. And tonight at 11 o'clock, I'll just make sure I leave this on. It'll do its thing. Simple take a look at this old piece of hardware this is a switch if you will they call it a console and it went between an IBM an early IBM server system 400 and like a small network for like small businesses or um, like a call center type thing because you could also hook modems to this and I just thought it was interesting and it's old you know when I say old, I'm talking probably 1988-89. This was probably used up until year 2000. It wouldn't surprise me. And you can see there's seven, there's six ports here, and then there's one down there. And I don't know, this thing would probably still run today. But this would be equivalent of like a switch of today, you know. But, uh, yeah, let's power it up see what it does here we go uh, lights blinked a little bit there yeah look at there it's even got a floppy drive yeah this is a Canadian built machine actually I looked it up built in Canada and this sticker on it is probably where it came from auction. Battle Creek. Battle Creek's in Michigan. So, yeah. I bet this still works today. It says green is normal. So we got our red light on the system here. And it's probably because, hey, we don't have a system hooked up, right? wonder if there's anything interesting in here. Let's take it apart. While I'm taking these screws out, I found something on the internet about this. I'll show it to you now. I found these pictures on Flick. This is a 7025 IBM. So this would have been the type of server that this switch was hooked to. I keep calling it a switch, but it's really a controller. But this was the actual pair to it here. Not the actual one, but a picture of a 7025. I found this diagram on the Pearly website. It shows the Model 3i sitting here between the AS400 and a small network. You can see they're showing like laser printers and terminals, even modems and so on. This would be a typical arrangement for like a small office, you know. And here's your IBM running right here. So this was a pretty important part between the network itself and the system. There you go. Pretty tidy, actually. And these back cards for the different channels were designed to be taken out. It says RS-232 on them. That drive looks a little rusty, doesn't it? 
but yeah looks pretty tidy nice little power supply section here and then the the CPU and the little brain down there looks nice these come right out for a replacement they got some bodge resistors on there I see but yeah I just thought it was a neat little blast from the past even though most of you probably have never seen or will ever see one of these it was a pretty big part of the way offices were run you know and even now it wouldn't surprise me if some of these were still in operation you know, some of these early IBM systems could still store and run stuff on the order of terabytes, believe it or not. Yeah. That's it. We'll put her back in the scrap heap. So here it is the next day, and yes, when I came down and looked at my computer, this is what I got. And it waited till I opened a web page and started getting into looking at some of my feeds, you know. But it did pop up, so anyway. I can reschedule or I can go ahead with it. I'm just gonna finish the thing. It looks like it wants to start in 14 minutes anyway. So I will restart and upgrade now. About to make your PC very happy maybe but if you would have let me watch my feeds I would have been more happy anyway let's see what happens next I guess after several minutes this is what popped up so who knows how long this is going to take stand by for that yes may I help you tell you what if you ever get a chance to get one of these robot vacuum cleaners particularly this one this is uh, uh what are you a needle I did a video on it checking my library anyway this thing was worth its weight in gold okay not gold copper maybe anyway yeah I've taken the dog out, mopped the floor, and started the vacuum cleaner, and we're at 35%. Yep. So I didn't press the record button, I apologize, but what happened is it said 99% done, and then it asked me just a couple questions about setting up, like did I want to use Cortana, and I said yes, and then I clicked the next to agree to the terms, and that was it, and now we're what you see now so it just took the name that I had set for this computer in the first place which was set laptop and it's just reusing that name now if you accept the uh, next for Cortana and say that you want it that's a voice activated character that Microsoft came up with and you can ask it questions if you have a mic on your computer an audio microphone and most laptops will have that so if you have a desktop you may have to add a microphone to use it but uh, laptops certainly have microphones so you can ask it questions when it's all set up hopefully so you can see it's starting to finish now hopefully it's been probably about an hour since I told it to go ahead and install okay it says all my files are where I left them so in other words it hasn't erased any of my personal files like my music and my files you know my photos videos that I have on this machine all the bookmarks for my Internet Explorer should still be there so it shouldn't have changed any of that at all And the reason why there's such a big pause in between all this stuff is it's actually still loading. And you can see my activity light down here from my hard drive is blinking. This one right here. So it's actually still installing the software while it's giving me something to look at, you know. And so it's stretching out the little slides here to 
tell me more about Windows 10. By the way, the machine that I'm putting this on is an AMD Athlon. I'll show you the badge. And this is by no means a newer machine. You can see the sticker right here. It was built for Vista. Remember Vista? One of the worst machines ever made. <laughs> anyway, um, actually this machine had Windows XP on it. And you had your choice. I don't know why there's a Vista sticker on there. But uh, this machine had um, XP originally. And then later on it was upgraded to Windows 7. And that's what it was before now. And now we're going to Windows 10 on it. So, this is by no means a newer machine. You know, it's back from the XP Vista day. So, if this Windows 10 install works, that goes to show you that older hardware, like this AMD Athlon, can still be upgraded. This is the 64-bit um, version. So, at least it has that going for it. It's not a 32-bit machine. Look at that, we finally made the desktop and it's been all together about maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So it doesn't look too unusual. The desktop still looks the same with the start button there at the bottom. There's the Cortana that you can ask it questions. This isn't meant to go over how Windows 10 works, it's just about the install if you pick automatic. Maybe we'll do another video on using Windows 10 if you're interested. But uh, this is the desktop and this is the default install of what you get when you say yes. You can see all my, those icons that are on my desktop, those are ones that I had on there originally. So it did put everything back. Let's press the start button here real quick and see what we get. So you can see what they've done. They've put the tiles on the right, which are these things. These are called tiles. And these have been around since Windows 8, you know. And then they also have the traditional looking Windows 7 menus here. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the Windows 10 auto install. And I asked for it overnight. Pretty easy, really. No hitches and for an older machine too.